is photo editing finally dead what a great time it is to be alive because these ai systems are just blowing our imaginations just look at the way this guy from ps desire youtube channel uses this tool all he had to do was just to type boy sitting below the tree beautiful sunset in the background flowers grass field water cinematic different types of flowers and he clicks enter and this right there folks is the final results <laughs> isn't this scary and fun at the same time just by the way of describing exactly what you want the software does it for you and as someone who has spent over 14 years learning photoshop and learning graphic design and how to edit photos in adobe photoshop and where we've reached in 2023 ladies and gentlemen completely obliterates this history that i have accumulated over this past 14 years learning the ins and outs of photoshop because all that it used to take me several hours to achieve you can simply achieve that with just one click with this new ai tool that has been incorporated in photoshop just give a brief description of what you want and the software will do it for you. That is quite exciting and scary. Now, Glenn Davies, who happens to be one of my favorite YouTubers, actually posted this video, which actually epitomizes exactly what I am talking about. If you look at this image, how many times have we all taken a photo in a portrait mode? Then all of a sudden we have this idea that we want this picture to be in landscape. But once you have it straight like this, you realize that you definitely have black lines at the left and right. Now, here is the thing. With this generative AI, the software can already scan your image and predict by itself how the other areas will look like, kind of regenerate and come up with new ideas as to how those other areas should look like and it will definitely fill in those particular gaps. Apart from being able to fill in all these gaps, you can simply select an area, type in something, maybe generate a tree or an animal or something and just wait for a while and the software will generate it for you. Imagine just editing and kind of creating a circle around an area and telling it that put a tree here or a car here. One thing you must take note is that the kind of prompts you input there are not kind of command based. Maybe you say, oh, build me a car or do this. You just simply put a car with this. I mean, you just give a description, but do not be very authoritative or being directorial or tell it, put this for me or draw this for me. And you are going to be amazed as to the kind of results that you are going to get with this particular piece. There are already tons of videos online, which are already talking about this. And guys, what a great time it is to be alive because these AI systems are just blowing our imaginations and growing at a very faster rate that we all did not even predict. The other way Glenn Davis actually demonstrated this tool that blew my mind was the fact that we can use this to actually correct some of the mistakes that we make on set. For example, this particular image he shows here, you realize that the image was taken and the down part was actually cut off. Here is the thing. He simply uses the lasso tool, draws a box around this area, making sure to include a little bit of the already existing area and tells Photoshop to generate the down part of the image. Now, this AI just scans the whole image and predicts by itself how the bottom part of this image was supposed to look like. And this is the final results. Mind blowing guys. And it doesn't just end there. Beside this, it will always give you about three different variations of what you actually asked for. So in this regard, Glenn Davis actually goes through all the other three different options that the software actually presented him. This is absolutely nuts guys with just one click. That is how sophisticated Photoshop is going to become. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Is this the end of photo editing or probably is this the beginning of an end? Let me know what you think about this whole technology in the comment section below. But again, at the same time, I feel like it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Imagine what you can do. Maybe you have an old image lying around, maybe a physical copy of a picture and you really want to refix it and all that. Just let your imaginations go wild and as filmmakers i'm definitely going to have a video coming up soon which i'm definitely going to be talking about some other use cases that you filmmakers out there can actually watch out or how you can harness the full power of this ai that has been incorporated with photoshop into your video editing or production workflow that would definitely set you apart
And just like any AI tool, you guys must be very conscious the way you use this because they are actually guidelines. And if you ask the AI to generate something that is against the current guidelines that Adobe has actually set in place, um, it's simply not going to respond to your prompt. So kindly be aware of that. But other than that, I think this tool is really stunning. And as at the time of making this video, this tool is only available in beta. But of course, very soon is going to be a fully fleshed feature that we are going to have in the next generation of Photoshop. But for now, if you really want to try it out, kindly head to the Adobe website, sign up and please download the beta, try it and please share the results. Let's see what you are able to create with this whole AI. If you are seeing my face here for the very first time, welcome to the Africa Maze channel. Over here, I do talk about cinematography, photography, editing, and all its related branches. We also watch movies and talk about other movie industries all across the globe. If all this sounds interesting, I do much appreciate it. If you do click on the subscribe button, please make sure to do turn on the post notification bell so you are notified anytime I drop awesome content like this right here from the continent of Africa. And I would certainly catch you in this particular video where I talk about something concerning filmmaking. Until next time, as always, guys, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.